In this video, I'll be showing you how to literally break Scratch. Do try this at home. Let's open a blank project and I will show you a really fun way to rename. Click on our Scratch cat and select the text. And hit your spacebar and there we go, a sprite without a name. Sorry Scratch cat. You could do this to many sprites as you want, but make sure you increase the number of spaces in each sprite, if not Scratch would automatically rename it. The fun doesn't end there though, you could do this on every sounds, costumes and even messages. This is a sprite without a sound and this is a sprite with a sound. Now let's drag the play sound block and it's just the same thing, really fun way to trick someone. Unfortunately, no, you can't do this on variables. I know, really disappointing. But there is one more really cool way you could rename and break scratch. Click on my blocks and make a new block and just press the backspace O delete and click OK. And there you go, a nameless block. Everything is nameless in this project. Really, really cool. So here's the part that breaks scratch. The normal way that you would edit the blocks is right click and edit. But on this block you can't change anything, you can't even delete it. We broke scratch. We are not done with blocks. Make a new block and type the person symbol. You won't be able to confirm and press ok. The only options are cancel and exit. Let's cancel it, then scroll up your block palette you could see all the blocks will be bunched up together. But don't worry, this isn't that deadly. You can easily fix this by clicking on costumes and clicking code again. And if you're watching this far, you are probably enjoying the content. So make sure you join the Smart Mind family by subscribing and liking this video. Back to breaking scratch. Now we are going to the extreme. Things that will literally break the whole program. We'll start off with another naming thing. Open a blank project and type slash b anywhere in the project. Just anywhere. Save it and try reloading it. And boom, you broke Scratch. Scratch would give you an error message saying that the project failed to load with Chinese. Just think, you are making a huge project, you randomly type this, save it and not being able to open it again. Really, really deadly. Back to our good old my blocks. Make a new block and type percent %n. Next add a boolean input and you can see we already broke scratch. Add a label and type d slash n. Yes, it's not visible, it's just right here on the corner. And there you go, you got that beautiful scratch error message. Okay, let's open a new project, grab these three blocks, create clone when I start as a clone and delete this clone. And no, making 300 clones wouldn't break scratch. Just stack these blocks together, we are going to witness disaster. Just click on it and this would freeze the whole program for some reason. And the only thing you could do is painfully closing the unsaved project. If you know any other ways of breaking scratch, make sure to comment it down below so we could break scratch. And check out this awesome video where I go over different types of scratches. See you in the next one.